everyone, we're here in Berlin. We've been here this entire week and we were really impressed with the scene here in Berlin and uh, especially the ecosystem, you know, that we go a lot to Silicon Valley and that we've been to the east, but I think the ecosystem here in Berlin is really impressive. Uh, they've got about 15 to 16 accelerators, co-working spaces, and the critical mass that they have of startups is just amazing. We were at Hoopraum, which is an accelerator that is actually created by Deutsche Telekom, and they told us that they get between 1,500 and 2,000 applications for startups. That's just enormous, just for one accelerator. So they must have an enormous amount of startups here. And we asked them what, what makes the difference. And the uh, first thing that they always say is Berlin is cheap. It li it's like 200 euros here for a seat in an accelerator compared to at least 1,000 in Silicon Valley. So it's really cheap. Uh, but what also impressed us was the big international community. We've hardly seen any Germans here. It's like people from Tel Aviv, people from Italy, people from Spain, people from Holland. They're from all over Europe and from all over the world, actually. People from Silicon Valley. People from Silicon Valley that come here because it's cheaper and they also got a lot of access to money. And uh, I think that international community is just one of the key drivers here of this ecosystem of innovation. You also see that uh, they have uh, focus. Uh, for example, one of the big focus here is uh, Internet of Things, IoT. Uh, this is also because the government actually really said we have to rethink what we do as a German industry. Uh, Germany is a manufacturing industry. We have huge players like uh, Daimler and Mercedes. But what they wanted to do is make sure that they were still relevant in you know, the day after tomorrow. So, oh, wait. Hi, on the train. Ah, the, <laughs> So what happens is that the German uh, government developed a framework called Industry 4.0. If you have a chance, check it out, Industry 4.0. And it's a framework on where Germany wants to reinvent itself for the Internet of Things. And you see an amazing amount of activity, an amazing amount of startups, all focusing on how can they actually build the Internet of Things and how can Germany play an important role there. Uh, one of the companies we went to, Relayer, is exactly that. It's uh, built right here in Berlin venture capital from Silicon Valley, but very much that focus on Industry 4.0. Uh, well, it's also a big difference with Silicon Valley is the work-life balance. Uh, in Silicon Valley, you have the feeling that there's hardly any life, but that it's almost like 95% work, and they just keep on going, keep on going, wake up at 5 a.m. and keep on going until it's really late. Here, it's completely different. Most people that we meet have families, have children. You don't see families with children in San Francisco. But here, everyone is a little bit older. They have families with kids and they're saying, hey, we're making a good living here. We're, we, we're making good money. But at the same time, we still got time for our families. So they're a little bit more relaxed, which is actually kind of nice to see those differences and to see that people can be extremely innovative here, but at the same time, enjoy their family and spend time with the family. Yes. It's always a train. I think I'm just gonna come here. Yeah, that's okay. So one of the things that we've seen here is that there is a much better relationship between the traditional companies and the startups. Uh, when we go to Silicon Valley, often it's like the startups are out to eat and destroy the traditional companies. Mm -hmm. And here it's much more of an, a symbiosis. They live together, they work together, they learn from each other. Uh, there's a place here in Berlin called GTEC, the German Technology Entrepreneurship Center, which is really the absolute uh, hotspot where corporates and startups meet. And it's not just that they connect, but they also work together. Uh, for example, one of them is Metro, the, one of the largest retailers here in Germany, owners of Macro, for example, who did an accelerator program where they invited 10 startups who could extend what Metro does in the world. And they put the executives of Metro in these startups for a, a definite period of time to learn how to take that startup mentality back into the mothership. That type of a symbiosis is really very strong here in Berlin. I think that's one of the reasons why we absolutely love Berlin. So we had an amazing week and we just wanted to share this with you guys. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.